Hey, it's Andy with IT Supplies. HP is an innovative technology company that makes a wide range of products spanning across all different industries. In our slice of the world, HP is a market leader in wide format digital printing. Today, we're going to take a look at two of their most innovative technologies, HP Latex and HP PageWide. With the new graphics enhancements that HP has introduced into the HP PageWide XL Pro this year, the print quality of the PageWide has begun to encroach on territory that was previously reserved for HP Latex or even DesignJet. The lines have begun to blur with PageWide having the ability to print more than just maps and drawings. With that in mind, we wanted to take a fresh look at the HP PageWide XL Pro and the HP Latex 800 and see where each printer excels so that you can make sure you're picking the right tool for your job. Today, we're going to use the HP Latex 800W and the HP PageWide XL Pro 8200 to print on polypropylene film. This versatile film is used in many applications, including roll-up banners, point-of-purchase displays, and many other uses where paper isn't suited. It's used in indoor and outdoor applications, and it's viewed up close and at a distance. So which printer should you use to print your polypropylene film? Well, life is made up of trade-offs, and printing is no different. We're going to take a look at six different priorities that you may have for your polypropylene job, and which printer you might favor for the needs that you have. First, we're gonna look at color quality and color accuracy. Here, we've printed the same Onyx evaluation file with the HP Latex and the HP PageWide XL Pro. You can see that the Latex printer and its six inks provides richer colors than the four color HP PageWide XL Pro printed in a single pass. If color accuracy is paramount for you, then we would have you choose the HP Latex. Next is viewing distance. If your prints are going to be viewed up close, we would suggest using the HP Latex. You can see that the Latex print does not have any visible banding or artifacts, while the PageWide does have some stitching visible when viewed up close. If your job isn't going to be viewed up close, you can see that either technology is going to give you great results. Next is speed, and this is where the HP PageWide XL Pro should really shine. The HP Latex 800 took 5 minutes and 40 seconds to print this 30 inch by 40 inch display. In this same 5 minutes and 40 seconds, the HP PageWide XL Pro printed 113 copies. If you need prints done quickly, there is not a faster printer in the market than the HP PageWide. It's hard to put into perspective just how much faster the PageWide is than every other printer that we sell. The next category is cost. First. Printer cost. The HP Latex 800 will cost just under $30,000 to purchase. The PageWide XL Pro 8200 will cost just under $70,000. So from an initial investment perspective, you could buy two HP Latex 800s for the cost of one PageWide XL Pro 8200. But what about the cost to produce my polypropylene displays? Let's look at the ink cost for our print. On the HP Latex, our 30 inch by 40 inch print used 27 milliliters of ink at 10 cents per milliliter for an ink cost of $2.70. On the HP PageWide XL Pro 8200, this same print used six milliliters of ink for an ink cost of $1.20 for this print. So the PageWide XL Pro 8200 comes out ahead with ink costs roughly half of that of the Latex. If ink cost is your primary concern, then the PageWide XL Pro is your best option. And within the PageWide XL Pro line, the 10,000 offers the most compelling ink cost. The next category is durability. I've used my fingernail to scratch the surface of both prints. You can see that the latex offers better scratch resistance with the use of its overcoat fluid with an anti-scratch agent. If your polypropylene displays are going to be subject to rough handling, then you'll appreciate the extra durability of the latex prints versus those off the page wide. The final category is outdoor longevity. This is highly subjective to the climate that your prints are going to be displayed in and the exact media that you're using. But on average, HP latex prints will last two to three years outdoors without fading. 
Compare that to the HP PageWide, where prints are not expected to last more than three months outdoors. So if you have a long-term outdoor application, your customers are going to be most happy long-term with the results off the HP Latex. So which printer is better, the HP Latex or the HP PageWide? Well, that's an impossible question. Which printer is better if I'm printing polypropylene? That's a little better, but it's still not a question we can answer for you. Do you need a thousand prints in an hour? Do you need five prints that nail a brand color? I hope this video gives a brief comparison of the strengths of both technologies. To dive deeper into your specific use case, please give one of our sales reps a call to talk through your needs. We'd love to run samples for you or host you for a demo in our Chicagoland Demo Center. If you found this video helpful, please give us a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.